everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to do my everyday go-to makeup look. So if you want to know how to do so, continue watching. So first we're going to start off with the Smashbox Photo Finish. It's a oil-free primer, which I like to use because my eyelids tend to get very oily. It is a foundation primer, but it doesn't really matter. Just take a little bit. I'm going to put it on... Coastal Sense SO9. It's just a dome brush, I guess you could say. We're going to be using the Too Faced Natural at Night palette. And we'll start with Coco Star in the corner, in the outer corner of our lid. fluffier brush the SO3 and just kind of blend it in so it doesn't look so choppy. Okay, so now we'll be taking Sin and Sidecar from the Naked palette, the Naked One palette. I like to start with Sin in more towards my inner corner. Not so much like in the actual inner corner, but like in the crease and take that up a little bit. And then we're going to take some of the side car and go mainly in the middle of the eye. I'm going to take the Virgin all the way this color in my inner eye, right here, and blend it up into the eyeshadow. And there we go. Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush again, the SO3, this one. Then we're going to take some of the Coco Star from the Natural at Night palette, just a little bit on the tip of the brush, just enough so that when we blend it out we can darken the crease a little bit. And you want to put mainly all of the crease in the outer corner and then take whatever's left on the brush and take it up into the middle of the crease. Circular on the outer corner, windshield wiping motions in the crease. Take a little bit, dust off the extra. That's about it for the eyeshadow. We're going to take a light skin color shade. This is the Wonder Pencil from NYX in Light. And we're just going to take it on the bottom lash line and take it just enough to brighten the eye and make them look bigger. And then for the upper lid, I like to do like a waterline kind of thing because I don't want to do a whole winged eyeliner just for an everyday look. So this is the Estee Lauder Pure Color in black and black. It's just a normal pencil eyeliner and we're gonna do the upper water tight line. take my Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte and just start at the base and wiggle up. This is the SO5. It's like a angled but it's like fluffy and it's not so precise. I take a little bit of Virgin, tap off the excess, and go just right under the arch in your eyebrow, just to lighten it up. And 
that's it. Okay, so now that we're back, I'm going to take a big powder brush. Um, this is the S27. I like it. You're just going to sweep it away. Go under your eyes. Sweep away under your eyes. And sweep down. And whatever you have left on the brush, because you might have a little bit, I'm just going to take to set my forehead because my forehead does get oily. And just absolutely making sure there's none left. So after that, we are going to take our bronzer and I'm still using the face bronzer by Avon it's just this really pretty golden color that makes my skin look amazing we're going to take a curved or slanted brush this is the S25 of Coastal Scents they're all still Coastal Scents <laughs> and you're just gonna make that kissy face and go right in the indents of your face side right in the indents of your face you don't want to drag it down too far or it'll sink your whole face down you just want enough so it gives you the sunken in shadowy look the prominent jawline everything and then I take a little bit in the corners of my forehead temples and I just sweep it and just to bring a little bit of warmth in my face because it is winter so we want a little bit of a tan <laughs> and then I just take whatever is left on my brush do my jawline and that's it for the bronzer and then for my blush I will be taking the S43 it's just a tapered simple brush and for this I am using the Tarte Home for the Holidays blush it is in the color Swanky. Um, it's in this little palette. It came in a huge box, but this is a little side palette I came in and I put it in this because it's a lot easier to show this. So we're just going to take a little bit. This is a very, very pretty blush. It's very subtle for... messed it up a little bit but that's okay because you can take that big powdered brush and just blend it upwards into the skin blend it upwards into the skin I do this anyways so that it's to finish this look off I will be using the Tarte Lip Surgeon in Ravishing it's a really pretty pink shade um, it came in the Tarte Home for the Holidays 2015 um, I love it because it smells like mint and it's going to be lightly. I'll be going in with the SOS40 brush. It's just a flat tipped brush. And I will be going back in with Coco Star. Take a little bit. And then we're going to just go right under the corner. I'll be taking that the same brush we used to highlight our brows, the SO5, the slanted, like, fluffier brush, and blending it, or smoking it out so it doesn't look so heavy. And then I'll be using the Lights Camera Lashes on my lower lashes, just to give them a little bit of a pop. If you ever do get mascara on your cheek or whatever, don't take it when it's wet. Wait until it dries and then just smudge it off. It'll come off right away instead of like wetting it and then getting like black all over the side of your face. 
So this is my go-to daytime look. I absolutely love it. It's the perfect time if you're just gonna go out for the day to the mall, whatever, seeing somebody going out to lunch or whatever your daily tasks and very neutral tones everywhere else. So yeah, thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe.